fairly recently, uh, um, for years, um, well, I, I'm going to describe two that are related. <laughs> in, in my first book, I uh, disparaged models that, as I said, replaced the little man in the brain with a committee. I said that seemed to only m make matters worse. Later, I realized, no, 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 no. If it's a committee of dunces, uh, each of whom does only part of the job, that's far from making matters worse. That's progress. And that led to what's called by some people homuncular functionalism, where you take the whole self, the whole agent, the whole person, and you break that person down into sub agencies that are themselves agencies. They, they have their own sort of agendas and they have, they have this information they have. There's the, you might say they have their own beliefs and desires and uh, they work together to achieve the, the larger person. Um, uh, that's not entirely figurative talk. Some of it's deeply, deeply uh, uh, predictive and explanatory. And it, here's where the mistake comes. Uh, and I imagine said that that we can do a sort of a Russian dolls cascade. We start with these large fancy uh, agents, and we make them up out of smaller agents, and we make those up out of smaller agents until we get down to an agent that can be replaced by a machine, and then we we discharge all the homunculies homunculi. And this is this is a finite regress. It's not an infinite regress. And I imagine that as it were, by the time you got down to the level of a neuron. A neuron was something that could be replaced by a machine. Well, I think I stopped. I, I said that the regress stopped a few stages too early. I think a neuron is better viewed, a single neuron is better viewed as a little agent of its own, uh, that it is a, a sort of selfish agent, that the activities of an individual neuron in, in, in effect, reaching out and then uh, contracting its dendritic branchings. Uh, it's, it's, it's got some purposes. It's, it's got some reward systems of its own. It is, it's, it is a little Skinnerian agent of sorts. And of course, it is ultimately a machine, but, but it's also very much of an agent. And that's something that I've recently been thinking about. And, and uh, I, I, I think I was really wrong about that. Mm -hmm.